State. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have uh, all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off about 87 points, a quarter of a percent. Nearly a half a percent for the S&P, or 17 points. NASDAQ, 175 points, six-tenths there. The Russell's off seven-tenths, or 13. Semis are down eight-tenths, or 22 points out there. Nine-tenths, so how about that we go? Basically almost four, five, six, seven, eight, nine-tenths for the trannies. They're down 124 points. Gold's up two bucks, silver up a penny. Like to be crude up a buck 86, trading out at 104.59. Natural gas is off 18 cents, 611 is the print there. And the 30-year treasury is off one point and 17 ticks. 136.28 is the print. Let's go spend a little bit of time, take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand corner. You can see that price is above the top of its daily profile, 3841. When you're above resistance, top of a profile is resistance, bullish. Price is getting back inside or trying to get back inside its weekly profile. That number is 3888, basically. We're trading at 3886 right now. So watch, see if we close above that this week. If you close back above it, that's an indication that price is going to try to make an attempt for the 4121 level. As long as that spot volatility remains below its 50-day exponential moving average, that's going to lead to a sideways to higher market for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, she's made its way all the way up to prior resistance. Prior resistance here is the bottom of uh, the uh, daily profile, and that's at the 12197 level. This is a profile that I generate using my synthetic version of the uh, contract out there. It allows me to grab, it's better, it's different than the continuous contract. It allows me really to provide you with more accurate profile information in the bigger picture here. So right now, the key level of resistance for the NQ is going to be that 12197 level. U.S. dollar index is going to form a, a TD9 count top today. That says we should see a top uh, in the U.S. dollar between today and Monday. Gold has formed a TD9 count bottom. Uh, and as long as price remains above the low of that pattern, so price has to close above 173070 to maintain that signal. Silver's also got a nine count out there. Uh, and it's got a new profile. That new profile should take price up to the 1977 level. Light sweep crude formed a Gartley buy pattern. It's uh, likely going to go target the 10647 area. Natural gas. Traded above the top of its daily profile. That's up at the 607 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're up to start your Friday, have a fantastic one. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. But stay tuned for the Trader Z Show.